Rare colors card. Okay, we got a normality. And the problem is... I'll do the bomb. I'll do the bomb for you guys. But also, I have normality. But I'm doing the bomb for you guys. Alright, guys. This is the run. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes glued and peeled, alright? This is gonna be a banger. It's gonna be a banger, guys. I need a lot of block. I should have killed that. Whoopsies. I should have killed that. I just wasted. That's blockish because it's like, you know, it gives me a weak. Whoa. I want your moon normality, but this is a disarm and an evolve. But now I have a shop here that. Did I take the carnage? Uh, I don't need carnage because I have damage with bomb, right? I just need block. Now I have a wasted shop. Oh, these are such good relics and stuff. Oh, what a wasted shop. Question mark, you troll me so. I just need a lag block go with this bomb. Or not. <laughs> or not. That's good. I like that. This works. This works well for what I want to do. Uh, not this turn. This turn sucks. I eat. Yikes. I want to do a lot of elites, but I'm running low on life now. It's rough. But. Still want to do a lot of elites. I don't need whirlwinds. I want to do these three elites right here. Is that crazy? I think we have to go for it. I just need to play the bomb. What a turn. Guys, I took both those potions that I made it. Look at that. That was a turn. That was a turn, guys. Unfortunately, the bomb came too late. That's awkward. That was really awkward. Barricade. Barricade is so good. Except my deck doesn't... Okay, Barricade and Bomb, they're very expensive. But Barricade is like... Okay, this is good. If I can get past this elite, if I can get past this elite, this deck could really do work. Whoa. Whoa, what a perfect first turn. Whoa. What a perfect first turn. Let's go. And now it's coming together. We have Body Slam, but Body Slam is a little premature, but. Knowing me, I never find Body Slammed ever again. The Toxic Egg is fantastic, guys. Absolutely. Also, Body Slam with Barricade is going to be... This, the deck is done. We just got our move strikes. The deck's done. Pair is amazing. Yes. The thing is... I, I just know Body Slam's not going to show itself again. I'll take it, but like... My Volve is not bad either. Let's go this way. Maybe I should have went for the, the fights because I can get more cards from Toxic Egg. I need to get the bomb ASAP in this fight. The more cards I add, the less often I get bomb. That's really bad for me. I just need bomb. I just need bomb, guys. Alrighty. I gotta survive this next turn. Somehow, some way. Okay. Whew. Okay, we now I gotta shrug it off, which is good. It goes for a barricade. Seeing red gives me some energy, which is useful sometimes, because I want to play barricade. I want to play the bomb. But shrug it off is pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and rest. And I can heal. I can remove a strike. Remove a strike is very good for this deck. Can I do one more elite? Can I do one more elite? Remove a strike is very good for the deck. Can I do one more elite, though? Um, triple century is not going to happen again. It's Lagavulin or Gremlin, right? 
Gremlin, I'm a little bit too low in life, I think. Because if I don't get bomb early against Gremlin, then I'm fricked. And last time against Gremlin, I used Flex Pot and Energy Pot to play multiple attacks on the first turn. And I don't have that luxury this time. I do have a heal, but like, okay. If I don't get bomb early, the Gremlin's really bad, yeah? We can admit that. And if I get Lagavulin, the Lagavulin is very manageable because I can build a block with Barricade against Lagavulin. But against Lagavulin, if I don't get Barricade early, then it's bad. So I think we just skip the elites. Upgrade to random cards. Um, there are some good upgrades, like uppercut and trigger are good upgrades. But barricade's not a bad upgrade. That's 26 health that I'm losing, but I'll do it. And I'll go ahead and rest. Alright. Defend plus, it helps a lot with barricade to have defend plus. Uh, so this is awkward because I think I posted this attack here and not play barricade right now. I think, I think I'm supposed to do that. There's a world where you do barricade and full block there. I think I'm supposed to attack. Try to prevent this from happening. And this happened. Awkward. But if I got barricade out, we can like, we can build past this, you know? And I want to play the bomb, so... But I actually have to do uppercut. Now since I don't have barricade out, this, this defend means nothing. I'm okay with random upgrades. Yikes. Hmm. This is a good timing the bomb because it's going to be when he needs to proc forward. So that's good timing on the bomb. That's really good timing on the bomb. Perfect timing on the bomb. It's doing 40. Ah, and I need to do... I need to play Barricade. I need to play Barricade and do 10 damage. Why is this so awkward? I need to play Barricade here. Ah, I need to play Barricade so bad. Because if I play Barricade, then I have block for the next turn, then I can survive. But now I need to do 10 damage. I'm, I'm 1 damage off. Ah, really unfortunate. Barricade needs to come out on a free turn. Like right next, this turn right here. Barricade. Uppercut Plus is very good to weaken for the next turn, but... Okay. This is fine. Because if the deck is good, I just need to get, I just need to, get to uh, the next axe. The deck's fine. Except this next attack might hurt me really bad. I need to make sure this next attack does not go through. I don't think I can prevent it. Uh, I might be dead here. Um, with body slam. Um, how much block do we have? 31, 31. It's gonna be um, 46. 46 is enough. Beautiful. Th this is this is like a deck that's teetering on the edge, but when it comes together, it's a very powerful deck. This is like it's a fantastic deck. It's one of those decks that just breezes through the heart. Absolutely breezes through the heart. We just gotta just fix it up a little bit. All right, that was close, but no cigar. Impervious, yes, yes. Impervious plus. We need energy. Take the velvet trigger. We need the energy. We can take the sustain. Black burning blood is not bad because we can, the black blood means we can take the sustain and try to find other ways to get energy. But energy is very important here. It's one of those greedy decks, but once you get some cards like entrench, this greedy deck just like smacks everything, right? It's definitely a greedy deck that shouldn't make it out of Act 1. The fact that we got out of Act 1 is huge. So we go for events and two elites, three elites. This is not a deck that goes this is not a deck that does um well on elites, I don't think. Okay, with impervious body slam I can do some work. With the bomb, I can do some work against elites. Actually the bomb does a lot of good work against these elites. So maybe I can do something with impervious body slam, barricade, and bomb against these elites. 
But three seems a little too much, right? Because I was thinking we go here, go to a little shop, maybe move a strike. Do one late elite, do a lot of campfires, get a lot of upgrades, right? So upgrade, true grit, the barricade, upgrade the bomb. And hopefully get like a removal or two on a strike. Two strikes, remove two strikes. And now the deck has two less strikes, a lot of upgraded cards. And then there's hopefully along the, along the way, we pick up an entrench and a headbutt. And then the deck is really good. We have headbutt and trench. We have minimal cards, cute and small. Maybe pick up a battle trance. So this looks promising. Do some fights, do some shops, remove. Only one elite though. Is this a three elite killer, guys? What do you, what do you guys, do you see this and think, man, three elites, no problem? How are we gonna make the bomb operate in a way that elites become my bees? And for bees, I mean babies. Relics that we'd want would be like block relics and um, uh, I mean all the good relics of course Debrits I would take but also things like uh, Fossilized Helix is really good so I can buy a turn to play Barricade or uh, Intangible one I forgot the intangible one I mean there's tons of good relics tons of defensive relics that can help me get this out bag of prep to help me get it out There's tons of good relics Plus rare cards. Chances. So things like offering become really good. Offering means I can get energy and card draw to get these things out. Because the most important thing is getting barricade and impervious out. So offering becomes better. I just don't know with the bomb if it's possible. I mean, it's possible, right? But slavers is pretty easy, I would say. If we upgrade the bomb, slavers is easy. Book of Stabbing. Book of Stabbing is kind of hard. And then... How, what are the events? Let's take a look at the events. Let's, let's, let's really try hard. Let's sweat this out. Let's go for a 2-0 streak in the Ironclad. 3 0 4 zero, okay? So there's 6 shrines and 6 8 available events. And there's 50% chance to get a monster. Golden Idol... Liar, we don't want to see Golden Idol. Scrap Booze, is, uh, World of Group is not that good, right? Living Wall, I forget what that one is. Dead Adventure, that's whatever. A lot of these events are actually quite bad. The Shrines are good. So we want to see the Shrines, but the Shrines are the least, least option. So let's go this way. Info Mud. I want to play Barricade to get it out, but I also want to play the Bomb to win, right? I think the Bomb just wins this fight easier. As opposed to trying to block there. And 100%, the, the, like, the Bomb is going to win this fight for me. So that was a good call by me. Like, bomb gave me the one HP, the one HP damage that I needed. Shotgun Plus is a fantastic card. Fantastic card. the boot and that boot value i need to just preserve life here uh barricade bar barricade is not really good in these hallway fights but i don't want to lose the bomb that's like my only damage so i would do true grip but i don't want to lose the bomb that's like the only way that i could actually win this fight although on the bright side this guy is weakened for the rest of his life we got the bomb but we're taking lots of damage to it as a result all right, as long as the bomb is out, we have a uh, clear win condition here. I guess barricade is a good, look at that, pretty decent damage. In conjunction with the bomb, body slam is actually, that's my damage. Bomb and, bomb and uh, body slam, but I didn't need it in that situation. Inflame helps me do a little bit more extra, but this deck really wants this to be like a defensive deck. So inflame feels like it's just uh, counterintuitive, I feel like. Am I worth taking a, this for a relic? Because I want to remove strikes, right? So I don't want to writhe. And writhe is really bad because I want to see... There's a lot of cards that I, I need to get out and play. Like right now, I need bomb in this turn. And I didn't get it. But once we get bomb, this fight should be relatively easy. And we didn't get it. So I got to kill one of these guys. Prevent some damage. Got the bomb. And Shlokov is very good too, but... 
I can't afford to do both. And that's a very clutch impervious. And now look, the bomb kills both of them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Defense and bomb, baby. That's all we need. Another true grit. Another defensive card. Love it. Now remove a strike. Ooh, preserve intake is really good. Headbutt is going to be good for the entrench that we're going to get, right? How about this? We do Ori, we find entrench, and we find the cards we want to find. Although, Art of War goes very well with this deck, more energy. Not to mention, preserve intake is quite good for um, the elite that we're going to fight here in an Act 4. But I'm only going to fight... I have to fight Sparkle Act in the next Act, and Act 4, and this elite. So that's not bad. But we already have the bomb. We already have the bomb for these elites that I should be fine with. Whereas Ori gives me like things like Entrench to really send the deck home. And maybe some other stuff. I don't know. I mean, I also want to remove a strike, but a strike can cost a... I don't know. It might be actually just be Ori here. Unless I miss everything here. If I miss everything, then it's not worth it at all. Oh, shit. I missed... I literally missed everything. Whoa. My sub could legally drink now. Maze Man, thanks for the tier 1. 21 months, man. 21, that's crazy. That's a limit break plus. And we have Toxic Egg, so Ori feels good on paper, guys. Toxic Egg, and like, this feels really good on paper, but it was a big miss. It was a really big miss, guys. It felt really good on paper. I think we take a Havoc here. I think we take Havoc, no? What are we scared of Havocadian? We just want to thin out the deck more. And like, so Havoc we just do because it gives us a chance to hit Barricade and hits the bomb. And I mean, if it hits Bodice Time, it kind of sucks, actually. If Havoc is Bodice Time, it sucks. Like, you don't want to do it in boss fights. Yeah, I mean, Preserve it would have been fantastic. It's like guaranteed whatever, but... Yeah, I took the risk there. I gotta upgrade Dark Embrace, gotta upgrade True Grit, and then, you know, the deck's going places. A lot of block he has to get through. Good fight, good fight. Good fight. Seen red is pretty good. Uh, the next shot I don't need. And this fight sucks. Especially since I do impervious on this turn and I don't have body slam. Oof. That's gonna be painful. Dragon Brace is worth playing there. Scene Red is worth it. Look at that. Scene Red was huge. Scene Red was huge. Look at Scene Red. Scene Red Dragon Brace is such a cute thing. I love it. It's one of my favorite. Scene Red Dragon Brace. I love it so much. The Jeremiah special. The Jeremiah special. Alright, we got another league coming. Me and the bone's fantastic. We have another league coming up. I want to upgrade the bomb before this fight. So the slavers become a little bit easier. And we got the slavers. Oh, man. And we got barricade impervious. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we got the bomb. Whoa. And if you take damage, me and the bone is there. Guys, it's coming together. It's coming together. My friends. My friends is coming together. Lethal next turn. Meat in the bone. And lethal. Wow. That's the stuff you make videos on. Just like those. Look at that. A good block in the form of ghostly armor. Good upgrades in forms of defense pluses. Now the deck is even more defensive. And wow. Vacation keeps me busy, but I'll try lurking. I like how vacation keeps you busy. That's cute. 
Hey, no worries, man. Hope you have a great vacation. How you doing, Grim? Getting entrenched in this deck is uh, very nice. Yeah, you didn't know that I was known for the uh, scene red dark embrace. That's my specialty. They all they always they all talk about it. The Balaton is great. What is Balaton? Excuse my ignorance. I'm doing pretty good, man. I got to upgrade Dragon Base, and my deck is good. By upgrading this much, I'm making armaments worse, but. Guys, we've only been streaming for an hour and 30 minutes. Doesn't it feel, doesn't it feel longer? Biggest street water lake in Europe. Nice. It's 50 damage, right? So. I forgot to click record. I forgot to click record. I want to upgrade Dark Embrace, but I feel like... Fine. Fresh water, fresh water, sweet water, sweet water is the... Uh, that sounds like a city in Florida. I was like, that can't be right. That was a really bad first turn. Hey, Sadly Clash is welcome, buddy. We got the bomb, that's great. It's perfectly fine with use of Impervious. We don't have Entrench, so... I actually... It's hard for me to keep up and block here. It's not a bad turn. The problem is... Because I have to get barricade out, but the problem is, do I trigger uppercut? That's one of my, my best cards in terms of consistent weaken. But maybe if I just keep playing the bomb, that I just win like that. Unfortunate, I have to get rid of uppercut. Oh, maybe the minions are man managed, which is great. And not, look, look how much block we get here. There's a lot of excess block here. Wait, this is a lot of exit block. That's fantastic. I don't even need entrench for that turn like that. But now I need to play bombs off as possible in this rotation because I'm frail, so I'm not getting that much value. Hey JRM, sub chat. So we gotta okay, maximize the bomb there. Doing well. And I think if he resummons, that'll be fantastic. Alright, I don't need bash. Just the bomb offense is all I need. Bomb and barricade, a body, bomb and body slam. That's all I need, baby. Look at that, bomb and body slam, baby. This is a cool deck. Is that the title, bomb and body slam? Is that the title? Six ounce, 25 months, let's go, dude. That's crazy. Thank you for the visa, 25 months, six ounce. Hey man, it's always good to have your support, appreciate it. Do we take Juggernaut to get more damage out of all the blocking we're doing, that's the, our damage, or are we happy with the bomb and body slam offense? Everyone's doing well, I hope you're doing well. Only at 800 points, we've been following since uh, 2018. Streams have been great though, I've been watching a long time on YouTubes. Hey man, I'm glad you supported me. Bomb and body slam sounds like a massage parlor or a wrestling division or something. He's like, is the bomb. I don't think we need Juggernaut, guys. I think we have enough damage from Bob and body slam. Ooh, Runic Pyramid. To hold on to body slam and hold on to things we want, want, might need. Sacred Bark is not bad. Astrolabe is not bad. I can get rid of three of these strikes and maybe get something better from Astrolabe. Runic Pyramid is really damn good, though. I can hold on to Impervious. And then all I need is Entrench and the game's over. Because if I get Entrenched with Impervious, game's over.
Pyramid's very good. My favorite thing to make for dinner? Uh, I haven't really made dinner for myself in a long time, but um... I like... Hmm... Like it's not. Yeah, glad you guys like it, man. For dinner, I am trying to think. Maybe some ramen. I would like to eat ramen right now. You can play the bomb, but I don't want to take damage, you know? The bomb just counteracts the thorn boys. It's amazing. Bastard drama is pretty easy but time consuming. So anything good takes is worth as uh, anything good takes some time, right? So we can go for two events, look for Mind Bloom, or we can go for a shop right here. What do you guys think? Mind Bloom or shop? Mind Bloom or shop? I'm not guaranteed to get a shop later though. I mean, I get a shop in Act 4, but chance for Mind Bloom? 63% chance for one of the. For, so they might not be Mind Bloom, but it's 60% chance for an event. A chance to see specific is 9%, so there's 9% chance to see Mind Bloom. 9% chance to see Mind Bloom. I lost a strike, that's fantastic. here oh. previous now GG I play the bombs come over this is amazing guys drop a like guys you guys are watching this on YouTube drop a like and leave a comment with a smiley face Freeman, thanks for Twitch Prime, man. Andy Pan 6 for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm taking no damage. I need fighting trench. Yep. We got no. We got. We got mind bloom, guys. It was eight percent chance. We got it. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. All right. Protect normality. Okay. I don't have a shot for that, but I'll just take the rare relic. A rare relic will make my deck so much better. It will make it rare relic worth better. Uh, you don't have to from down you, but I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the support. Nice, man. Let's see if we can find uh, Barricade. Never mind, not yet. Once we get it. Dude, Pyramid is so good. Look at Pyramid. 
I want to play Ghosty, but I also want to play the bomb. I can I can chill. I don't have to be. I don't. I'm in a rush. Well, I'll save that for next turn. Sixty-nine damage, baby. Let's get a nice in the chat. Let's get a nice for the sixty-nine damage. Thank you very much. Let's keep let's keep doing triggers so we can just um keep drawing to body slam. So this is what it's called a combo deck. So yes, so things like pyramid are really good with combo decks, which is what this is. Because it requires a lot. Oh, tungsten rod's fantastic. Shrug it up straight. I can weaken him, right? Is it worth it to weaken him? I'll take no damage. But weaken him makes me save more. Makes me save more life, though. So weakening him does make me save more life. This rod is very nice. Yep. I want to do body slam. I gotta draw body slam again for the second phase. Wait, I don't even think that. I don't even think the bomb's gonna hit him here. The bomb's gonna hit intangible. Fuck. I need to get body slam here. That would be so sick if I get body slam right now. Body slam, body slam, body slam. If you call that out enough, you get it. Oh, got it late. Look. Bomb's gonna hit intangible here. Okay, we have lethal though, with body slam. Alright. Ink bottle's great. Spot weakness I don't need. Let's recall now and get it out of the way. Alright, our deck should, we don't have entrenched though. Ooh, this is this is a bad fight for us. Wait, we might lose, guys. This is a really bad fight for us, because we do not have entrench. This fight you want entrench. This fight you want entrenched badly. Hmm. Nah, we want entrenched really bad for this fight. More bombs, more body slams. More bombs and body slams. More bombs, more body slams. Got the body slam. I need to make sure I draw to body slam again. So I need to thin up my whole deck and do body slam twice in a row. Maybe I have enough offense here. I'm gonna bomb some body slams. Maybe I have enough offense. I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. Power through. Power through is interesting. So here's the thing. Uh... I can use it. I can get rid of the wounds with True Grip, but it's like Power Through is great block to get like for surplus on Barricade, but I can't really get the wounds of Pyramid is pretty awkward. And I do have two True Grits, but I'm using the True Grits to get rid of strikes and stuff. I could then use the True Grits to get rid of the wounds instead, but like. Because Power Through is a really good. Uh, I think I skipped here, but uh, another limb break is crazy. I gotta skip one of these. I, got, I can't believe I have to skip this move stone. Yikes. Alright, see how we do with this one. 
This one could be a little bit difficult. Did I shockwave now? Bomb, bomb is good for this fight, actually. Bomb's good for this fight. Yeah. Power through is good with trigger, but the thing is, like... Alright, see, I need the bomb to go off now. I need it in purpose. <laughs> Alright, and now I gotta just... Rebuild block, and then find a way to do body slam again. I can do body slam twice in one turn. But I fucked it up. It doesn't matter though because uh, it's game over now. Could have been painful. Alright, good upgrades. Corruption is uh, huge. So the event that we're going to be getting is, this is a very fast run as well. There's some interesting events, but, um, alright, I'll do it because I want to, I got the next best event. Wow, I got all the good events. That's crazy. This event's a little bit scary though. Don't get me wrong, this event is a little bit scary. I have to get the bomb out, but I also have to get Shockwave out. This event's a little bit scary though. Don't get me wrong. You think I'm fast enough? I mean, with Impervious, I, I catch up. With Impervious, I catch up. Impervious is where I catch up. I should probably save Body Sim for Impervious, but... He's gonna die to bomb anyway, so... All I gotta do is just block this guy now, which is manageable. Now I just gotta manage one guy's block and then it's GG. And now I get another relic. That's fantastic. Wait, it's on iPhones right now? Wait, they actually got it to iPhones? That's incredible. I didn't know they actually managed to get it to iPhones already. <gasps> Calipers. That's awkward, but okay. I could just rest here, I think. Uh, I'll do this. My whole deck's upgraded. Where's Entrench? Entrench. Disarm's fantastic. Lantern's fantastic. Removing a uh, strike is fantastic, right? Do we take an ancient artifact for the heart? The vulnerable? Do we take ancient part for the heart's vulnerable or nah? Calipers helps me set up barricade before barricade is drawn. So it's not that good. It's awkward. Like, it can help me set up barricade before barricade's put out. But um, once Barricade is out, Barricade takes precedence over Calipers. There's a bug where you can get Curse of the Bell out of any event with Curses involved. Ah, okay. But once they fix that bug, that's amazing. You bought SCS over a year ago, played it for 10 hours, walked away. Came back on a whim about two months ago and played it nine, 91 hours since then. And I'm glad you took, came back to it, man. It's a great game. Still no Entrench, I know. Still no Entrench. Which, but Shrug It Off right now is kind of like it can make, make do. Entrench just basically wins the game on the spot. But at the moment, we can get by without Entrench. Maybe I should take in the Artifact for the Heart. 
Just gotta stop the vulnerable. Alright, take no damage here. And then I just got the uh, the bomb to go off. I I'll rush for this next two fights. See, look, this is a good turn with like if I had excess block, calipers would kind of clutch me up. But calipers, not that great here. All right, GG though. We had no meta scaling, but entrench, it's gonna happen, right? Do I want another shrug it off? How many shrug it offs can a man have? Do I want four shrug it offs? Go for the points, uh, no. I think we, we still play barricade in this fight, right? We still play barricade in this fight? It's only one power we're playing. We got the bomb though. We do get the bomb, but I wanna like... Dragon Brace I want to hold on to. Alright, the bomb just goes everything now, it's gotta sur I gotta survive. No entrenched boys. Oh, this fight's easy actually. Wait, I actually want to play Barricade here. Okay, entrenched, uh, Calipers helps me in this turn. Without Calipers I would have lost a lot of block. Even more block. So thank you for that. I gotta keep my I gotta keep getting uppercut and I'm good. Keep getting the uppercut and the fight's over. Bomb, bomb and body slam, baby. Bomb and body slam. I think at this point it's just body slam. Offense is enough. Is it not? Bomb is good for the AoE, but I don't need it anymore. Play bomb now, though. Get bomb out of the hand, and now we have a bomb waiting for him. Got the weaken. Get rid of armaments. We don't need it. Body slam. Imagine. Fuck. I couldn't play that. That sucks. We can make it so that we, we play body slam multiple times in a turn. You want to see it? So I can make it so that I play body slam like multiple times. Let's, let's do it. Look at that, guys. Clean. I didn't have to play strike there, actually, but I wanted to get out of my hands. Um... I want to find barricade ASAP. So I'll take some damage to get barricade out. I'll take some damage to get barricade out. And church of it, I mean. Got it. We're not frail, so this is great. Play three cards next turn. Hopefully we get entrenched, guys. That would just make our life so much easier. And now what we could do is make, make body slam, like I said, appear more than once. Trigger is so nice, man. Trigger is one of the best cards.
Bar none. Whoops. No one talking about that. Alright. And it's getting low enough for me to kill a body slam. I need to set anything up for the, uh... I need to set anything up for... Act 4? Nothing, right? I can set up Ink Bottle for Act 4. I'll wait till I'm not weakened. Clean deck, man. It's a clean deck. I'm gonna try to get lethal and coincide with the the, the, uh, the bomb here. He keeps weakening me. And I haven't weakened him here. Ouch. That's bad. Because now I lost a lot of body slam offense. Hikers. And the bomb's gonna force my hands. I don't like that. I don't have uppercut played. I need to thin up my deck more. Maybe there's a chance I get lethal here. I draw body slam again. If I draw body slam again, I have lethal. Body slam. Body slam. Fuck. Bottle, but uh, like if I get a body slam right here, I, I'm, I win. Oh, I want to just keep ink bottle as is. I want to keep ink bottle stacked, so I'm gonna do this. Ah, let's stack ink bottle a little bit more. I had nothing to upgrade, and I need entrench. All right, upgrade defense. Let's go. Entrench. Impervious is good. Okay. Whoa, I don't have enough money for it. Wait. Fuck. Another okay, this is a, this is a great shop. Holy shit, bag of prep and bronze scales were amazing. Impervious number two was fantastic. Wow, that's that just wins the game. Um, I can take another true grit. I can take another true grit and call it a day. Oh, Impervious number two, I couldn't get. I wish I wasted too much money at the last shop. If I didn't waste money at the last shop, like removing a strike or something, I could hit, get this Impervious. No bless bless RNG, the guy got banned, I think. Alrighty. Might be a difficult fight. Hmm, maybe. If I don't trench, I don't know if we have enough block for the heart. That's why I blocked there, so that's really bad. I think I need to play the I need to play the bomb to, to win here, but Alright, I can play two cards, so I think I do I need, I need to uppercut. Shockwave here. Oh, the ball. Oh. I mean, 
the bones and not to get prucked. If I can get enough block, I could kill this guy on the left. With that. I can weaken him maybe. We mean the bone. I don't know if I have enough block for the heart though, that's the thing. That's the thing. Now this guy's kicking my ass. Jeez. I don't, I don't have enough damage for him, but I need enough damage for him. Oof. I'll probably just lose then, huh? Because I can't do double bodies in here. Fuck. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. There's still hope. I need Entrench though, Entrench does so much for my deck. That's the truth of it. Entrench does so much for my deck. Uh, do a wield. I don't have, I don't even have like Final Pain to do a wield. If I had to do a wield Final Pain, I can actually scale my block. I promise I can't scale my block guys. Without entrenched, I can't scale my block. If I had funeral pain, I could like do a funeral pain and scale my block. But I, I don't even have a way to scale my block. So uh, I need to be able to do a lot of damage. And the way I can do a lot of damage is maybe dual wielding body slam and slamming body slam. Because if I don't have enough block to scale, then I have to do a shit ton of um, damage. Now I'm curious. This is good. But I'm going to be vulnerable. This is unfortunate. Do I do a wheel dark embrace and try to get a shit ton of card draw? How useful is that? It's probably better than nothing, right? But I think we have to do a body slam and do as much damage as possible. That's the only way, actually. I think that's the only way. I think I have to get it out of the way now because if I do it later on, then um, I choker gets in the way. I want to be frail for when this happens. I want to try to use Impervious when I'm not frail, but I may not have a choice. But here I take no damage. So this is really good for me. The problem is I need to reapply Weaken. But this is the fact, the fact that I take no damage here is really, really good for me. Because... I have to do body slams when um, I'm not frail or weakened. I need to draw a, a shockwave or something. I didn't draw shockwave. Uh, the fact that he's not weakened is really bad. I'm gonna be on a prayer. Best thing I could do is use swift pot and I draw into a scene red, uh, scene red uppercut. That's like RNG. Scene red uppercut here. Do I go? Did I go for an out? The weakness saves me how much life? Like a decent amount. I can see what I if I ooh. Oh, I was right about seeing red. That's pretty good. I got point out of the deck. Okay, but twelve HP in a dream. I want to get the bomb played. But I had to play, um, I had to play Shockwave now to get the weaken. But the bomb is my offense, and I need to do, to do a lot of damage. 
I need to save this uppercut so I can play this arm next turn. You need to save uppercut here. So I can do disarm. Shit. I'm out of the block. Without insurance, I can't do it. <sighs> Without entrench, I can't do it. <sighs> I need another way to skill my block. This is not it. Why, why would I have the bomb when I can just do like tons of body slams, right? I get rid of all these strikes. If we get rid of this, we only use overcut now. One, two. Right, that's some damage. Better than nothing. I don't think we can ever afford to play the bomb anymore. It's too expensive. Two more attacks here. One, two. All right, doing some damage. Not the worst. One, two. Block now. One, two. So I need to do. I need to do. All right, fifty four. I need more block. What is this? 180. 198? No entrench, no problem. The game offered me dual wield. I said, well, in a world where I can't scale my defense, I scale my offense. And that's what we did. We scaled the offense. What a run, guys. I'm telling you, best Ironclad East Coast.